Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney, Google Certified Innovator and Trainer. This video is about the Google Jamboard Android app as experienced on a Chromebook that has Google Play Store access. The Google Jamboard Android app is just a component for Google Jamboard. Google Jamboard is this $5,000 device that Google is selling to businesses. It's really cool. It's an interactive smart board. It has wheels. It does not seem like it will be a piece of hardware for education, at least not in the short term. Maybe long term, they will make an education model that's cheaper or figure something out. However, one of the components of Jamboard is collaboration from people in other places. So they had to make an Android app. Now, apparently on phones, this Android app is next to worthless. It doesn't do anything. However, on tablets, so my wife has it on her Samsung Galaxy Tab A. It works, but it renders very darkly. On my Chromebook, my Asus Chromebook Flip C302A or whatever you call it, it works great or it works pretty well. One caveat, you really wanna have a touchscreen because your finger is the best input method for this device by far. It is by far the best. So let's create a new Jamboard. I will show you around some of the features. So we click plus and then we have a marker. There are five different markers. Let me demo, but first I'll change the color. And so this is the color we have. We have five options, not a robust suite of colors by any means, but let me just do that real quick. I'll do the one pen and then the second, third. I like that third one, kind of artistic. And then this one is a little bit more transparent. And then this has, and let me see if I can write it with my, I'll do this with my finger, text recognition for handwriting. And does that become Tom? Yes, it does. From there, it has shape recognition as well. So again, with my finger, let me make a little circle, makes it a perfect circle. Let me make a square. And you see, if you don't do it perfectly, there are some things that will come out. And yeah, you see, I try to do a triangle there. So you have to play with that, um, of course. From there, this green tool, I swear, I have not been able to figure out what this green tool do does. It also has a corresponding little, um, this is kind of like a laser pointer where you put it, it's like a magic pen, you use it and then it disappears. From there, there is a post-it note. So you can put that in there. And then if I double finger, yeah, you can put, you can use your finger to grab it, resize it and move it. And as you can see, sometimes grabbing things in, might be better using that. Grabbing things in Google Jamboard can be a little complicated, but there I got it. And with my fingers, I can now, I'm gonna try, yep, I can or change the orientation and change the size. I can also throw it out, but I'll just leave it there so you remember it's there. More features in Jamboard, Google Drive. So Google Drive integration is not super awesome at the moment. So if I go, and let me just put an image of myself. So there I am, and I'll drag myself into it. And again, I can try to grab myself by change that. I'll try to grab myself and you can see, yeah, I get myself, but it's a little hard. Now I can use my fingers to zoom. So I'm gonna zoom and there I am uh, a zoomed in on the Jamboard. But I noticed that when you bring in images from Google Drive, other things from Google Drive as well. So for instance, if I bring in this guy, again, the only way to really make him bigger is to zoom in on the actual board as a whole. So that's a little bit challenging and I think they're gonna have to fix that and make that a little bit more user friendly. Uh, PDFs will go in as well. If I just search for a PDF real quick and I use this one, it goes in, but again, the resizing is just not happening. I could change the orientation, but I can't get the resizing like I want it. And with, with my fingers, I can change the zoom as you can tell. From there, other things, you can search the World Wide Web and if I search for my own website, I bring up my website and now I can crop and take anything off of that website and insert it right into the Jamboard. And again, I can grab it and I can change the side, wow, or change the orientation, which I'm actually start. there we go, change the orientation. From there, there's a straight up image search. So if I bring in Phil Jackson, boom, I can change him. I'm gonna throw him away. Anyway, so there you go. You have that as an option. 
Also, emojis. So great for feedback. Boom, you have a little feedback to give to somebody. You agree, you can put, press the check. Uh, other emojis in there, even poop, but also that one there. Um, all sorts, you can have a little clock. And again, it would be nice if it was easier to grab these things on the Android, but it is what it is. You can do a camera where you take any of the images that you have from your camera reel and that will go in as well. All right, anything else to show you guys? Oh, let's see. That's basically about it. Oh, one last thing, collaboration. So let me go back to a board that I've shared between myself and my wife's Android device. And now I'm gonna try, let's see if I can make this happen. And that's a bunch of uh, erasing that she just did or that I did on hers. So now I'm gonna write uh, just above the clock. And notice if you see it's her face comes in. So I'm gonna do that one more time and I'm gonna change the pen color to be yellow. And now let me start writing. And it's not quite asynchronous, but if you saw there was her face because she's doing it. Yeah, how cool is that? So that is something. Now I, I know this demonstration shows you something that's really just started. Really, they just released it and they really don't mean you to mean for you to use it on Chromebooks yet. But you can see that there's a lot of fun things you can do. They have some kinks to work out, but there's so much fun things you can do with it. It's touch, so you have that tactile kinesthetic thing going on, and there is collaboration. So if your school buys touchscreen enabled Chromebooks that have Android Play Store access, that's a lot of ifs, but if they do, then your kids could be doing some cool stuff like this, and hopefully they'll make the Google Drive integration a little bit better sooner rather than later. If you have any questions about this, if you want to comment, comment below, tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.